Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is an overview of the new update of Lazy Neef's royalty mod. And then just a heads up, I did not create this mod, so any questions need to go to the creator and I will link their information in the description below. So if you guys missed the first royalty mod review, then I will link that in the description below. There was another update between now and the first one, so I will link that below as well, just because it has more information. I'm gonna go over what has been fixed and what has been changed and, and we'll go see if the those changes and fixes were made. So this is Queen Amira. So if you're new to my channel, I do have a royal family series. This is Queen Amira. She is the queen of Windenburg, but I do have seven kingdoms in my royal family series. So if you're interested in checking that out, if you have not already, I will put the link to the playlist to those in the video description below. You guys can look at Queen Amira while I read this to you. So this is the post from Lazy Neef. First it says, please actually read the post because there is important information in it. So this one's a little bit different. So it says, XML injector required. It will not work without it. There is a link to download the XML injector in the post. So definitely go ahead and download that before you download the mod. Also, another thing you have to do, it says, please delete all old royalty mod files before putting the new ones in your mod folder. So make sure you do that. Don't just like have it be replaced because it won't replace everything. So it says change log monarch trait cast icon fixed. And then it also says nobility trait removed from create a sim. So if you didn't know before, there was this blank kind of nobility trait in Create a Sim that no one really knew what it did, but you could give it to your nobles if you wanted to, but I don't think it had a purpose. So we did delete that from there. So that is fixed. And then laugh at peasant is no longer autonomous. <laughs> That's probably good. It also says that titles no longer disappear on travel and reload. They are also now given via an object. So titles are given via an object now and no longer trait dependent. Hopefully this also fixes the issue where some players did not get any title interactions at all. Some may take up to one sim hour to change. So because we are talking about the titles, why don't we go ahead and check that out? So we will go into live mode. All right, so Amir is here. Now for the monarchs themselves, if your sim has the monarch trait, I do believe that you can still change their title. So you're gonna click on them and click on actions. And there's two titles. One of them is just gonna have like a few of them but we can go to the other titles and you can either pick Monarch. I'm gonna pick Queen for her. Yep, there you go. So now you see the Queen title for her. And then for everyone else, I do believe they can change their titles here. So this is her daughter. This is Alice May. If I click on her and I go to titles and I say recognize as Crown Royal. Okay, so it actually gives her a Crown Royal trait. So that's gonna show up here. So it doesn't say titles quite yet because we are going to, oh no, it does say, okay, so it says Crown Royal. But if I want to change her to like princess or something, so I click here, say change title, go to crown royal trait or crown royal titles, and then she is the crown princess. All right. So now it says crown princess. So then it does say that on the post, it says that if you want to change your title or if you're experiencing any bugs with the titles, you can click remove title. So just click this to remove the title and then it would be able to change that and then you would just pick a new title. So it says, please do that if you're picking a different title for her from this little title giver object. And then he does also say, I am currently dealing with issues with the noble titles. So that will take a little longer to fix. Because of this, I have left the titles via actions menu. Menu. So you can still change it with the actions menu, but there's probably gonna be less bugs if you use this. And then it does also say nanny trait remade, and it says they will now actually autonomously do nanny stuff as originally intended. It says it's under friendly. So I don't think that's an actual trait. We actually have to hire a nanny. I'm gonna hire a service. And then we're going to go to nanny. All right, so our nanny is here. He's running in here. I know you can do a royal greeting, so we're gonna do that. And then what you have have to do so after you introduce yourself to them you have to go to friendly and you're going to find designate as royal nanny so there might be a few interactions here okay it says employ as royal nanny so you click on that queen amira is talking to him oh hello okay okay so she's now employed him so like as you can see he's helping alice may with her homework which is really i think he is anyway that's what it looks like so yeah it says that they should now actually do nanny stuff as originally intended oh yeah terrific work on your home. oh cool this is awesome okay yeah i've never seen that before and they're also helping to like clean and stuff and then the next fix is about the royal Royal banquet. So I'm just gonna do a small one so we can double check to make sure it works. All right, so we're gonna go to plan a so 
social events, and then we'll go to Royal Banquet, we'll make it a gold event, and then we're going to do the host as Amira and her husband, and then cordially invited guests. Oh, they did some changes to this. Okay, so we'll just do a few from the other kingdoms, and then you can have a banquet bar staff that says one required, so let's just do two, or we could do three. We need a royal chef. So we'll do a royal, sh oh wait, that's our nanny. Let's do a different royal chef. Then one banquet server required. These are all people that we know. So let's let's hire a few of those. And then we're gonna have it at the Windenburg Palace so people can arrive. So it says they will now not grab a plate when call to meal interaction is used. So that's good. All right, so let's serve some food and let's just make sure that is correct. But I didn't do this actually in my last royalty mod review in the first one anyway. I mean, the main goal is it says like, make garden salad, thank a guest for coming, have some dance at the same time. So it seems pretty similar to like birthday party goals and also dinner party goals. And then we have our banquet staff showing up here as well. So we have bar staff and banquet staff. Okay, so we've had a few people show up. So let's just do a call a meal to make sure that the bar staff and them don't come and eat as well. All right, so Amira has grabbed her meal and then Alice May is going to get some. We have the nanny here, but it doesn't look like he's going to grab it. So that's good. Okay. Okay, so it does look like that worked. This bartender, she did move over here for some reason, but there's a banquet staff over here. That's the royal chef. And then here we have, oh, a jester. There's a jester here apparently. But yeah, it looks like they're not grabbing any meals. So that's good. So that does seem to work. So yeah, I mean, it looks like everything worked. I know this is kind of short. It was a short update, but if you guys want to see everything else that's included, I would recommend just watching the first royalty mod video and then seeing in the second version, the servant interactions that were added as well. But now you guys know how to add royal titles because I know that was a big issue before. So now it's fixed and it seems to work for me. I'm going to link the information for the creator in the video description below. So if you need to ask them any questions, you can do that. I think you can ask them questions on their Tumblr. But if this was helpful for you guys, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.